Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim. As you know, a patient can have one or two or multiple supernumeraries. And some cases are associated with the syndromes as well. Today, I want to show you a supernumerary uh, that is horizontally impacted and located in the heart palate. So I'm going to just grab my cross crosshair and go directly to the area of interest. And right here we see there is a supernumerary that is horizontally impacted <coughs> with its crown facing distally or posteriorly located within, within the right side of the heart palate. So go ahead and take a look at the axial view and you can uh, appreciate the overall shape of the tooth as well as the um, orientation of, it, of its long axis. And now as we scroll through the axial views, excuse me, coronal views, um, you can see its relationship to the floor of the nasal cavity. Not only the floor is markedly thinned, and there's a possible communication with the with the with the tooth, excuse me, and then the uh, floor of the nas uh, the nasal cavity. And let's also take a look at this in the sagittal view as well. Um, one, other, one another feature that I would like to point out is as you uh, evaluate the root outlines as well as the enamel layer, you're going to see some uh, areas that show some irregularity <coughs> along its enamel. Particularly, I'm looking at this area. Pay close attention to that. I'm not sure if you can see there's almost an interruption of the enamel layer. And it's relatively obvious that it has lost its follicular space, and the PDL space is not well visualized here either. Uh, whereas, if we quickly glance over to this canine region, you can actually follow the PDL space quite well, but that's not the case for this impacted tooth. So, what all that tell you, all that tells you, is that um, these features strongly suggest that this tooth is ankylosed which is probably clinically important to recognize. Um, not only that this uh, is ankylosed, uh, but also if you are wanting to get this tooth out just because that's a supernumerary, I don't think there's a need to do that. Uh, it hasn't caused any uh, complications of the surrounding dental structures I in a way that it hasn't caused any impaction uh, or prevention of eruption or root resorption in this case. Uh, the only thing that uh, may be important to us to at least to recognize is there may be disruption of the floor of the nasal cavity. Having said that, if you look at the uh, soft tissue that's overlaying the floor, uh, it looks fine. There's no evidence for uh, inf localized inflammation or anything like that. So all in all, it's sitting there and there's uh, nothing you need to do about it uh, clinically. But just thought it would be interesting to share this uh, per supernumerary just the way it's impacted and its location. Um, and it's uh, very yeah interesting that the crown is actually facing distally. There you go. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.